Something's been shaking up PlayStation gamers for the past few months. It's the DualShock Analog Controller. PlayStation Underground couldn't resist the temptation to look under the cover and see how it works. And each handle is an actuator. That's a hardware term for something that actuates or starts something else. In this case, vibration. The weight on the spindle is carefully balanced to run cool when you're playing long and hot. On one side, the weight is small. On the other, a bigger weight spins. Code from the game determines how long and how fast one or both sides turn for different effects. This lets developers do lots of new things. For example, in Gran Turismo, you can drive by feel, not just by sight. If you drive a front-wheel drive car in real life, the steering wheel vibrates because the engine's so close. That's also true in the game. Jump off the line in first in a front-wheel drive car, and the controller shakes from high power and low RPMs. As you shift into higher gears, the engine vibrates less and less until there's almost no vibration. RPMs are high, and you speed along smoothly. Brush against something, and that side of the controller shakes. Slam into something, and both actuators spin hard to give you a big jolt. Because more of your senses are involved, you'll find yourself drawn deeper into the game. You also get a precise, light steering touch from the analog thumbsticks. Virtually all new titles are being programmed to take advantage of the DualShock Vibration feature, including Crash Bandicoot Warped, Metal Gear Solid, Tekken 3, and Spyro the Dragon. Also, a button lets you play any game in standard digital mode. The controller is standard with all new consoles. It's a must-have addition to every gamer's PlayStation experience. Check it out. It rocks!